Good morning, this is Laura GB and here is my latest video. It's the 4th of November and today Microsoft launched a couple of things. So Microsoft Flow has now become Power Automate and they also launched UI Flows very much in preview. So I just thought we'd take a quick look through what we can do. So here I am on the Flow window um, and I've clicked on UI Flows at the top here and I'm going to create a UI flow and I'm going to go for the desktop app one and then we click next and let's give it a name and we're going to demo using the obviously not spelling using the calculator okay and then we're going to click next And it asks us, do you want to put any inputs in? Well, let's put in an input. And let's put in a label that says big number. And then it wants sample data. And on this screen, you can't see it, but that's add a description. So big number to multiply. And then we click next. And up comes the beginning of a flow where it says it's the start of the UI flow and it's recording. So if I expand that action there and scroll down a little bit, there is a launch recorder. The first time you do this, it'll ask you to install various add-ins and you'll then have to relaunch Chrome, etc, etc. I ended up rebooting my box, but that's possibly because it's my box. Um, so click launch recorder and off it goes and thinks about it. And it says you're still recording which is perhaps not the clearest message in the world. But there's a box at the top up here that's going to do some recording. But what you need to do is first go to the app that you're going to record in. So I'm going to do calculator. And then I click, so I'll make sure that's the active app. And then I click record. Then I'm going to use an input. And there we are, we've got a big number. And you see the description is underneath it, big number to multiply. So click on there. And then I'm going to click where I want that to go. And they are, see it's typed in for me. And then I'm going to do times five equals. And then there's a get output. And we can select text on the screen. We can, let's, let's select the text. So display is 5,000. Okay. So we're going to put into there. Um, I really can't spell today. Result and big number times five. Sample value display is 5,000. Maybe I just want to say 5,000. No, don't seem to be able to edit that. Okay, let's click save. And let's click done. And if we switch back into our flow window, you'll see there is now a what looks uh, looks like a scope. And inside that scope, we have so I've got launch calculator, goes and finds it, and then we get our text. Oh, it's got a pretty picture in there. And then we do some left clicks. And look, it's, it's showing you screen slot. Machines. And look, it's showing you screenshots of, of what you clicked on, which is quite cool. That's quite impressive. I've got various things there. But I don't seem to have an action here about getting the result. Um, so let's click next again. You haven't defined any outputs yet. Now see, I thought I had. So maybe that needs some looking at. But this is very much in preview. It was only launched this morning. So let's click next. And so let's put in a number. Let's put in a completely different number to what we had before. And let's click test now. And let's see if it works. There's the calculator's been launched, the number's been typed in. 
times 5 equals and we're back at the beginning and your flow ran successfully now obviously I'm not quite sure what we can do with the output of that but hey that's a quick introduction once I've got my head around more of the things that are there um, I will post another video if you haven't already please press subscribe take care now